Hi friends. You want to say hi again, Tirza? It's just about bedtime, so we're brushing some teeth, but we want to give you a peek at our newest chicks. This is the last of the breeds we've got from this batch, and these are the Blue Americanas. We are super excited about the Blue Americanas. Not only are they blue plumage, they are also blue egg layers. So you can see here, if we take a look at this one, look at that soft gray coloration. That's the blue gene that you see when it comes to plumage. And these are such a fun breed because the blue gene doesn't breed true. When you take two blues, you might get a black. Look how much darker this guy is, or gal, we're not quite sure yet, but uh, that one's too, well, yeah, we, don't know. we don't know, because we got a straight run. We got a few that we know are females. We tried out a new hatchery this time. This is uh, from Cackle Hatchery out of Lebanon, Missouri, and uh, we got our first, first birds from them, and that pink, that's a, not a natural color. That's how they mark the females in the delivery. And so this is to be a female Amer Americana. The Americana is actually a true breed. It's uh, recognized by the American Poultry Association's standard of excellence. But sometimes you'll get Americanas that are actually not Americanas, they're Easter Eggers. Which means they're a little bit of a mix. You can see these are young ones and they're still a little bashful. But we'll end up with some blue we might actually end up with a splash variety as well because that blue gene will produce about 50% blue, about 25% black, and about 25% splash. So it'll be real fun to watch these birds grow up and uh, mature, and it'll be even more fun when we get some blue eggs in the egg basket. Hope you've enjoyed this peek at the Americana. We'll see you next time when they turn two weeks old.